forging cyber, forging cyber security experts. Secure Ninja. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV. Now, our free preview of Secure Ninja's online Sensei series has generated such a positive reaction that we've decided to give away every single module from this Cyber Kung Fu course, featuring Larry Greenblatt, Tom Upjagrove, and me. If you like what you see and would like to experience a Secure Ninja training course in person at any of our training locations, we have some amazing time-sensitive specials for you. Just visit secureninja.com specials for all of the do not miss deals. And now here is your free module from Cyber Kung Fu for the Certified Ethical Hacker version 8. Enjoy! Okay, and welcome back to module 5, System Hacking. Now, Alicia, what we're going to do is um, capture some passwords. We're going to capture some password hashes. Uh, we're going to use a tool called uh, PW Dump. Uh, there's a lot of versions of PW Dump. We're going to use version 7. Uh, and this one, we're going to run it locally on the machine, just to, as a proof of concept. Um, what somebody would do is run this tool, grab the password hashes and copy them out of the machine, and then at another time actually run some type of a password cracker. Okay. And, um, the second part of this lab is we'll actually pull up a password cracker called Lovecrack. Very popular, used by a lot of system administrators, really to see if people are actually uh, keeping with the password policy. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, are the passwords uh, eight characters or more? Uh, do they have complexity? And uh, that way I didn't know that they're staying in compliance. Right. And at the same time, like any good tool, it can be used both ways, for good or for bad. Right. So what we need to do is open up a command prompt. Oh, in fact, I don't need a command prompt. I simply need to run command. All right? Okay. Good. Uh, and I'm going to recurse to C. And if we look in the directory, okay, uh, I've already planted PW dump in here. Okay. PW dump seven. So um, simply, I'm going to have you do it. Type PW dump seven dot exe. Space there. No uh, space. No space. So PW yeah PW dump seven dot exe. Hit enter. Okay. So actually what is done, we don't really seem to have a lot of um, information, but it's grabbed the administrator's um, hash, and that's exactly what we're looking at there. Okay. Okay. Now if we do the same thing again, we go PW dump seven, uh, we use a carrot like that, and then go C colon whack um, uh, my hashes dot uh, txt, what I'm telling it is to output this file, as long as I spell hashes right, right? there you go. So um, I'm telling the output PW dump to a text file. We don't see anything at this point, but if we go back and we look in the file browser, you're going to see that we've created a little file here under C, which would be uh, my hashes. And if I open that up, you'll see that uh, through the hashes in there. Now, if I grab that and pull it off, you know, later on I could use a different tool to uh, actually crack them. I could use um, uh, Kane like we did before, mm -hmm. okay? But we're gonna introduce another tool, okay? Which is a big favorite, it's been around for a while, uh, and it's called Lovecrack, okay? Um, so we have uh, pre-installed the tool here on the machine, and I bring it up. Uh, this happens to be running just in uh, kind of uh, trial mode, so it'll run for 30 days. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, in this case, I'm just going to kind of walk through the um, setup. So we're going to um, um, actually retrieve from the local machine rather than another machine. This tool is so powerful that it can grab hashes from other machines as well. So if I was the system administrator and I, I was the admin, I could then grab the hashes from all the um, users on the system uh, and see that they really 
conform the, the password complexity that, that we want. Um, so again, uh, I'm going to do a, just a quick password audit. And this actually, you're going to see this is going to be a little more powerful than what we just did because we only really grabbed two accounts. We grabbed the administrator and we grabbed uh, the guest account, mm -hmm. of which the guest account is turned off. So whoever the administrator of this machine was, was kind of smart because you always want to uh, turn that off. But um, I know that this is a domain controller, so there's a bunch of user accounts in here that PW Dump wasn't getting. Right. So, um, good. So we're going to just do a quick password audit. We're going to um, um, display the passwords um, as they're done, uh, and then kind of go through finish. This will do a quick scan, and you can see that the audit was completed, mm -hmm. and uh, you can see that it's actually found the users and found passwords for those people. You remember Marty, you mm -hmm. know, we knew that Marty's password was Dragon. Yeah. Um, so that in itself, you know, it's pretty amazing that you can actually scan through the system, yeah. uh, pull out the, um, in this case, we pulled out the domain passwords uh -huh. okay? um, and uh, uh, enumerate them. Uh, so um, this is really a, a form of system hacking. Definitely. What other types of passwords can you find besides? Oh, uh, uh, so you have uh, passwords. Uh, you have your F well, your FTP passwords. More or less, on a on a domain system, that password is going to be used for a person uh, um, connecting to FTP. Mm -hmm. That password is going to be this for if this was running an exchange uh, and it wasn't a domain. It's actually going to get their uh, their email password as well. Right. Okay. Vice versa, if you got their email password to a domain user, you're going to have their system logon password. Now, as to what the rights of that are, you know, it depends. Um, like, uh, Marty here might have rights to certain files, but it, uh, Marty might have rights to actually be an administrator. So, if we can get the administrator's password, we got everything. In this case, administrator's password is empty. What does that mean, empty? Is There's that no password. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you believe it? Somebody would have an administrator password, like uh, with with administrator with no password. Yeah. Yeah. People do it. I guess so. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we recommend it. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Okay. So that is system hacking okay, with Lopcrack and PW Dump Seven. Now we hope you've enjoyed this free module, but there's lots more. The Cyber Kung Fu course has 29 videos in all and will really help build you a solid understanding of the CEH version 8 curriculum. Don't forget, if you prefer to attend one of the Secure Ninja's courses in person at any of our training locations, you really need to visit secureninja.com slash specials for some amazing discounts and other deals. I'm Alicia Webb, happy training. Secure Ninja TV is brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in cybersecurity training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. Secure Ninja, forging cybersecurity experts.